Good morning, fellow investors. This is Joe Grinder from Investors Help. Are you participating in a company's retirement plan? Or perhaps you're retired and collecting from a company's retirement plan. In either case, this video will be of interest to you. How good is your company's retirement plan? That's what we're going to find out in the next few minutes. I hope you enjoy. Before we begin, I'd like to remind you that this video is for information, educational, and entertainment purposes only. Please do your own due diligence before you proceed. Earlier this week, I put out another video entitled, Think You Have an Excellent Financial Advisor? You might want to check that video out before or after you uh, review this video. I provided, here's the URL. It's currently available on youtube.com at Investors Help. So check it out. If you recall in that video, if you have already reviewed it, we took a look at how do you determine how good is your financial advisor. In particular, we looked at how to check out your financial advisor's education and also their experience. So it's a good opportunity to get you to know your financial advisor better to help you decide if he or she is the right person for you. The first thing you will need to do is to register at brightscope.com. It's an easy process and it is free. So after you register, you'll see a, a, a view such as this for you to then proceed. You can check out Find a Financial Advisor, Financial Questions and Answers, or 401k Rating Directory. That's what we're going to focus on in this video, rating your 401k, your company retirement plan. Your first view of the website will look like this. As you recall, we already checked out the left side financial advisor search. Today, we're going to look at the retirement plan search. It's a matter of inserting the name of your company here in this search box. It currently, as a default, uses Google. And since I own Google st stock, I thought, well, let's check out Google. I have no idea how good is their retirement plan. So we're going to find out right now. So here is our first view of the Google retirement plan. We can immediately see that the plan has an 87 rating. Now, how does this compare to ratings of other company plans? We see that the lowest rating is right down here, about 30. We see that the average rating is 78 or so. Google is at 87, and it looks like the highest rating is at 89. In fact, you can read it right here. Bright scope rating for Google is 87. The top rated plan is 89. And this could equate to two additional years of work in order to have the same rating as the top retirement plan. Here's some additional information. It shows that Google is in the top 15% of all company plans for company generosity, salary deferral, and total plan cost. So for those of you who work at Google, it looks like you have a wonderful, wonderful retirement plan. I hope you sure take advantage of it. Well, let's see what else is available for the Google's retirement plan. Okay, we can see that at Google there are 29 investment options available for the employees. Looks like the largest funds in their 401k are Vanguard related. Oh, good. Vanguard Wesley Income. I also own that. Great. As you can see, the total plan cost is the lowest. 
fees available, the company generosity, their participation is great. Participation rate is above average. Salary deferrals are great. Account balances are above average. Here's some additional information on the plan details. Google's located just a few miles away from where I live. They're located in Mountain View, California. It gives 100,000 million, 1.6 trillion dollars in assets, 24,000 participants, and the average balance for each participant is $70,000. Way to go. I guess our friends at Google are being paid a nice salary and they're taking advantage of their retirement opportunities by putting a fair amount of money into the uh, savings plan. Here's some additional information. Other companies in the peer group, 81.6 is the associated press and the lowest, at least on this chart, is communications data at 60.1. So Google that has an 87% rate looks like it's close to the top. Here's some information on the uh, plan providers. By clicking on the middle tab here we get information on the 5500 data form. Uh, company name, plan information, participant information as of 1231-2011, so here it is, 2013, so it's, it's recent, but not real recent. And that's as far as the, um, the 5500 plan, 2011. The plan sponsor information here, plan administrator, and the auditor information. So this information is available for you as a participant in the plan. By clicking on the far right tab, we see the plan dashboard. Here I'd like to point out that you have to request access. Now, I'm sure the employees can have access to this. I don't know about um, retiree recipients of the plan, if they can also have access or not. Wouldn't be hard to ask and find out. In this area you'll see you can evaluate your plan against real data from real plans. You can create custom peer groups and you can determine the reasonableness of plan fees. So all this information is also available to you. One of the companies that I retired from is Lockheed Martin here in Sunnyvale, California. So I thought just as a comparison I'd do a, a quick check. As you see here, Lockheed Martin is 83 compared to 87. Now, of course, 87 is one of the best plans available, which we just saw on Google. Here's something I didn't know at Lockheed is they have 28 investment options available. You can invest in Lockheed Common Stock, Stable Value Fund, Lockheed Broad Market Bond Index, and uh, a lot of additional uh, op uh, investment options. They too have the lowest fees. The company generosity is above average. It's not great, but this is a, um, a defense contractor, so I'm sure it would not necessarily be great. Participation rate is above average, salary, salary deferrals is great, and account balances are great also. Look at this, net plan assets, 100,000 million trillion, no billion, 19 billion 800 million dollars in assets, wow, 130,000 participants, the average balance, you see our friends at Lockheed, uh, years truly, we have larger average account balances. In this case, it's $160,000. Of course, it's an older company. It's been around for a long, long time. Here are some of the other companies within the peer group. Lockheed is um, 83. Johnson & Johnson here is at 84.6. And Northrop Grumman, both of those are slightly above Lockheed Martin. The lowest on this chart is 3M at 78%. The auditor is Mitchell and Titus. 
Once again, here is the 5500 data form, plan information, partip participant information, sponsor, administrator, and finally audit information. Uh, you perhaps can't see these, uh, uh, these letters, it's pretty small, but the important thing is that you know what is available, and I'm sure you would rather check out your own plan instead of worrying about my plan. The same information is also available on the Brightscope plan dashboard. Once again, looks like you have to request access. I haven't done that yet, but I would assume as a participant in the retirement plan that I too would have access to this. So that's pretty quick. I wanted to show you what is available from Brightscope. It is an excellent resource at the right price. It's free. How can you beat that? It seems to be that there is a good amount of information available for our use, perhaps more than we really need. Based on your review, may, you may want to fin change financial allocation, selecting other options. In other words, like with Lockheed, I didn't know there's really, what, 20, 27 or 29 um, different investment plans available so I might want to take a look at that however you still are confined by the limits of your company's retirement plan in other words um, that's your choice you can number one participate which I definitely recommend you that you do that and number two of course you can only participate in the plan the various options within the plan that are are available so if you don't like any of the plans, uh, the alternative is either not to participate or to find another company such as Google. But that's perhaps somewhat unrealistic. I think it's better to take the company plan and then select the best option that meets your needs. The important thing, especially for our younger subscribers, is to begin start even if it's $25 or $50 a month. When I first got in the Air Force, I started saving $25 per pay period. We were paid twice a month, so $50 a month as a young lieutenant. Within a very a matter of a few years, I was saving over $350 uh, per pay period for $700 a month. If you take the money out every time you get a promotion or every time you get a pay increase, take a portion of that out for your retirement income. And then that provided the pot of money for me to begin my investments, both in the stock market and starting to buy rental property. So that's the way to go, in my opinion, begin early, start saving, take money out for your savings plan every time you get a promotion, every time you get a pay raise, even if it's only an additional $5 or $10 a month or a week or whatever you can afford. The important thing is put some money into your retirement uh, account. Hopefully that's wonderful advice. It worked great for me. And uh, if you learn nothing else from this video, please begin putting money away into your company's retirement plan. I'm sure that 10, 20, 30 years from now, you'll remember old Joe from Investors Help gave me this idea and hopefully encouragement so that you too can become successful in the future and not have to worry about a paycheck every every week. Finally, check with your benefits department, see what is available from your company's retirement plan. Sorry, I didn't mean to get off on a tangent, but I, I, I do want to stress the importance of beginning planning and putting money away early in your career for your retirement years. You won't regret it. If you enjoyed this free video, I'd like to ask you to subscribe to Investors Help. In the last few months, we have grown to over 200 subscribers. We have over 11,000 views on the videos that I've put up here in the last few months. I hope you like these, especially um, as a free resource. 
no charge is being made. This is part of my give back program. If you like us, please give us a thumbs up by clicking on the thumbs up icon below views. Search for Joe Grinder, our investors help on youtube.com. You have a great day. I look forward to uh, meeting many of you sometime in the future. Take care. Joe Grinder, investors help. Bye for now.